morning everyone and my name is Susan and welcome to our nice little 30 minute quickie yoga class half the yoga class that is all right so comfortable on your sit bones back is nice and straight shoulders are relaxed we always start our class with a couple minutes of breathing of prana which is breath pranayama breath control just to kind of relax kind of maybe if you want to say get into the mood all right so I always choose a different mudra every week. Now the mudras are different positions of the hands and the fingers. And all that means it's a spiritual gesture or an energy seal that seals the flow of the breath or the prana into your body so it's not lost. That's basically what it means, right? So, all right, today we're gonna to sit in booty mudra. So little finger represents clear and intuitive communication. Thumb represents your ego. Together, palm up. Now, of course, if you're not interested in uh, doing a mudra, just put your hands on your lap, don't worry about it, all right? Back is straight, close your eyes. Let's take a nice, long, smooth breath together. Nice, long, full, smooth breath. Inhale completely. Always suspend your breath just for a few seconds before you exhale fully. Now is the time to drop your day and settle your mind to set an intention for your practice today. Focus on any situation in your life that needs guidance from your higher self. It's time to lower the heart rate, lower our blood pressure, and lower our anxiety level. Try to find stillness in mind and body. For one more breath. On the next exhale, let's bring our hands together and let's rub them vigorously to activate our hand chakra. Hands onto your heart center. Keep that breath going. Before we go any further, I just wanna mention that um, try to really pay attention to the breath. I know sometimes it's hard to do um, if you're new to this, you're not familiar with the breathing. But every breath we take the whole time we together is long and smooth. So really learning how to relax and really pay attention to the breath, all right? And of course, pay attention to how you feel right now. If there's anything we do that's not gonna feel good for you, you know, if it's gonna cause you pain or aggravate a condition or anything like that, please take it easy. Don't be aggressive in what you do. Be very gentle, let your breath guide you. And if you have to come out of it or skip it all together, don't be shy, don't do it, all right? And big breath. On the exhale, drop the fingers, index fingers together. And on the next exhale, let's come up. I always try and cue you on your breathing. Come all the way up. So when I say the next exhale or your next exhale is when I want you to try and move. Reach up, breathing into Jupiter Mudra, sitting nice and tall in those sit bones. Let's wake up that physical body. Let's wake up that spine. Breathing into Jupiter Mudra which is good luck and expansion are activated when together focus your energies on breaking through barriers for one more breath. On the next exhale, release the hands, inhale into a gentle back bend or just reach up to the ceiling. Lengthen, release those arms, stretch those shoulders out for one more breath. On the next exhale, bring the arms down, slow, gentle, hands right in front. Now this particular stretch here is for the spine and the back and the shoulders. So I'll give you two ways to do this. Hands in front. If you can't go any further out, keep your hands here. Just focus on bending the elbows and leaning forward. All right, you don't have to go very far with this one here. Again, pinching with the hips, keep your back straight, head level with your spine. So try not to round your back, okay? Big breath. On the exhale, either just bend the elbows and just lean forward. Just go as far as comfortable. And those of you who are a little bit more flexible, you can go as far as you'd like. Try to relax the shoulders, just breathe. Let's start lengthening that spine, really releasing the shoulders, the upper back, the muscles up and down your spine. One more breath. On the next exhale, stay low and let's slide all the way to the left. The weight's on the left thigh, right hip stays on the floor and reach. 
If you start reaching a little too far and your right hip comes off the floor, then that means you're a little too far. Get that hip back down, pull back a little. And let's really start getting the shoulder, the upper back. You should feel it all the way down. Relax the shoulders. One more breath. On the next exhale, stay low. Float all the way to the other side, moving very slow and gentle with your spine. Come over here. Weights on the right thigh, left hip on the floor, and reach. Some stretches, you know, you might not have to go very far to feel it. Don't, I don't want you to feel like you have to really force your body. Just find that place that feels just perfect. And then if you decide you want to go a little deeper, do it on your exhale. See how it feels. And if it's not good, pull back a little. Make that adjustment. There's always room for adjustment to find that place because it all revolves around your breath. If your breath changes, if it labor, becomes labored or if it's a little too quick, then you've got to think about the position you're in. Make that little adjustment to come back to the breath. It's there to guide you. And while we're here, let's release the tension we hold in our face. And I want you just to squeeze and engage all the muscles. Just squeeze your face as tight as you can. Scrunch it up. Hold it. Let it go. Let's release all the tension we hold in our face. Let it filter through your body and to your mat. One more breath. On the next exhale, come back to center. All the way up. Hands on the lap. Roll the shoulders out. Roll them out. Get a little bit of movement going forward and backward. Release that gets some circulation into the upper body. All right, perfect. All right, so the next um, little stretch we're going to do is a side bend. So I want you to put your hand beside your left knee. Now, this is where the little block comes in. If you can't get your elbow onto the floor without your right hip coming off the floor, that's maybe a little too intense. Use your block. You can set your block up any way you'd like. So if you can't get to the floor, get the floor up to you. This might be more comfortable. Whatever you can use, even a thick a book or something, okay? Now, if you don't have a, anything like this, just reach out and you can do it this way, all right? You can bend your elbow a little or just reach out with your hand, all right? So, left hand beside the left knee, right hand on the right knee. Let's go inhale, right arm up. As you lean on the left elbow, or you can just reach out like this, all right? Reach up. Now the arm is lined up to the shoulder, to the side of the body. Try not to lean forward or to twist back. Reach up. If you find this is a bit too intense, put your hand on your hip and do it this way. Relax the shoulders. Spread those fingers like rays of sunshine. And those of you who want to go a little deeper, absolutely. Breathe. Make sure the left arm and shoulder are lined up. One more breath. Feeling that lengthening the right side of the body. On the exhale, right hand to right knee. Stay in this position with the left elbow. On the exhale, bring that right shoulder a little closer to the left knee. You can soften the elbow, the left right elbow, or keep it straight. And let's get a stretch into the upper back, shoulder. All the way, feel it all the way down. One more breath. On the exhale, bend the elbow. Stay low, gentle with your spine. Come up. Counter pose, let's go to the other side. Left hand on left knee, right hand on the floor. If you're using your little block or your little helper, take it with you. The block, again, you can set it up as high as you'd like, all right? Let's go, inhale up, right left arm up. Try to breathe, keep it going. Sometimes you might find some of the stretches is a little bit of discomfort. Come back to the breath, maybe that'll help. Make a little adjustments if you need to. On the next exhale, left hand to left knee. And on the exhale, push away. One more breath. On the exhale, bend the elbow, come to center. And come up. All the way, slow, roll the shoulders out. All right, let's get into our little butterfly now. So, this is called the bound angle pose or the little butterfly. So this one here is for, it's a gentle hip opener, releasing the inner thighs, the pelvic floor, groin area, those tight buttocks, releasing the glutes. All right, so, two ways to do this one here. If you're a little bit more flexible, hands onto the ankles, Elbows gently on the knees, you're gonna lean forward. You don't have to go far with this one to feel it, all right? But if you're finding that this is as far as you can go, 
Keep your hands right here, right on your thighs. Keep your back straight and just hang out here and breathe, okay? You're still gonna get a nice stretch. So I'm gonna do the forward run. And when I lean forward, if you're leaning forward, keep your back straight, head level with your spine. Again, hinging at the hips. Take your breath. On the exhale. Now, if you're leaning forward, don't put too much weight on, don't slam down on these knees. The focus more on leaning forward. Try to relax your thighs, your hips, your knees, let it go. Focus on the breath. Bring yourself right here, right now. Be present in this moment. Pay attention to how you feel right now. Position of your body, how your body moves, your breath, where you are. It's all that matters. On the exhale, come up slow. All right, perfect. And bring the knees together. And now I want you to open up your legs nice and wide. All right, toes pointing to the ceiling. So we're gonna do a nice little stretch. This one is called a revolving leg stretch. So let me show you this one here. So I'm gonna have the right hand, left hand palm up on my knee. The right arm, I'm gonna lean uh, bring it out. So let me show you this one here first, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up, I'm going to inhale up, my arm stays level, it stays lined up with the side of my body, and as I lean over, or even just reach up, I'm going to slide the left hand down, the left leg, all right? You don't have to go very far to feel this one here. So even though we're stretching the legs, the hamstrings, you're going to feel a nice stretch into your core muscles as well. So this one here, again, if you want to put your hand on your hip and lean, you can do it that way too. Let's go, inhale up, and as you exhale, slide it down. Now my body is straight, I'm not twisting. One more breath. Exhale up. Counter pose. Inhale up. Exhale. Keep that breath going. Try to relax your knees and your thighs. Breathe. One more. Exhale. All right, perfect. Hands in front, roll the shoulders out. All right, let's focus a little bit more on the hamstring, on the back of the legs here, all right? So having your legs open like this, toes pointing up to the ceiling is a calf stretch. This is a nice stretch for the knee as well, hamstring, and calves, hands in front. Now for what we're gonna do here is, if you can, you can crawl your fingers as far as comfortable. If you're not, you know, very flexible, put your hands wherever they need to be. Just bend the elbow and focus on leaning forward. You're gonna get the same stretch. You should feel it right in here. Back stays straight again, head level with the spine, big breath. Exhale. Now relax your knees, pay attention to how your knees and your thighs feel, they're probably really tight, let them go, let them go. And this is just a little lesson on being able to identify, isolate and release the tension as you're moving and as you're breathing. Let your breath, focus on the breath. Next exhale, come up. All right, perfect, okay. Now, I want you to straighten the left leg. So we're gonna work on our twist pose. And we can do two different ways to do this one here. Now, the left, right foot on the outside of the left knee. Now, I'm gonna give you two, like I said, two different ways to do this. If you can manage this, left hand on the right knee, right hand behind the back, look over the shoulder. Now, if you wanna go a little step further, okay, if you wanna try your shoelace pose, you don't have to. If it's uncomfortable, you can do the, the twist pose like this. Otherwise, rolling on the left hip, bending the left knee behind. This particular position is called the shoelace pose. It's a very deep stretch for the thighs, the hips, the buttocks. But like I said, if this is going to be a little bit too um, unmanageable for you, keep the left leg straight, just like the first position I showed you, okay? But left hand is still on the right knee, right hand behind the back, big breath, exhale as you look over the right shoulder, relax the shoulders, back is straight, breathe, 
Now this one here is a gentle spinal twist. You don't have to go far, so be very careful if you have issues with your spine or your back, don't torque your back, even if you just move a little bit. And if you need to go further or want to go a little further, push on the knee a little bit to the left and you'll go a little further. But even in the twist pose, that breath is exactly the same. It's long and it's smooth. So let's just try and release that spine, keeping it nice and flexible and agile and supple. Releasing the nerves, the blood vessels, the muscles up and down your back. One more breath. On the exhale, come back to center and let's untangle those legs if you're in this position here. So going into the shoelace pose is just a bonus stretch for the lower body. Now let's try this side here left foot on the outside. So like I said, with the other side, if you want to do it this way, same difference. We're still working on the spine, but if you want to go a little deeper, you can try your shoelace pose, roll on the right hip, bend it in. Now, if you're going to try this pose here, you can loosen up your legs. It doesn't have to be super tight, but if you're a little bit more flexible, you can choke up on your legs if you'd like. Whatever feels good for you. Find a place where you can relax your lower body so we can focus on that spine. Right hand on left knee, left hand behind the back, straight spine, take your breath. Exhale. Relax those shoulders, your spine, your back is nice and straight, that breath is flowing, you feel good, you feel comfortable. Starting to relax, feeling calm, find that little place of serenity. On the exhale, Come back out. Untangle those legs finally. All right, let's straighten them. Let's get the kinks out of the legs. Staff pose. Sitting nice and tall, being aware of your posture. Relax the shoulders. Point your toes. Arms out. Bring them down a little lower. Fingers open. Bend at the wrist. Slightly turn out to the baby finger. And let's get a nice stretch. Having your toes out is just releasing the foot, the ankle. But let's focus on the forearm, the extension muscles on the forearm, the wrist, the hand, and the fingers. On the next exhale, so that hands straight, bring it up. Right fingers on the tip of the left, gently pull it back. At this point, if you'd like, get your heels off the floor. Releasing the flexor muscles, let's go to the other side. On the exhale, One more breath. On the exhale, release. Get the heels on the floor. Relax your knees, your thighs. Fingers up. Let's just do a finger stretch today. So we're just going to pull back on the fingers gently. So following the rhythm of the breath, start with your thumb and gently pull back. Getting a nice deep stretch. You don't have to crack your knuckles. Be very gentle. Moving your body slowly and carefully. Your body will respond. Let's go to the other side. If you try to rush, it's not a race you know, or force your body or be aggressive in your stretches. You know, your body's just going to tense up. It's going to seize up and it's not going to want to play. It's not going to want to cooperate. So be very kind to your body. But the breath is there to help you guide your movements and release. Hands up, stretch, reach out, lengthen those fingers, stretch the palm of the hand. <clears throat> Claw, fist, as tight as you can, as comfortable. And then let it go. Uncoil the hands, uncoil them. And then shake them out. Release those fingers. You can wiggle, play piano. You can round the wrists if you'd like. You can go a little faster, but keep your breath slow. Loosen things up. Releasing those tight muscles, the nerves, the blood vessels. <clears throat> All right, hands on the lap, roll the shoulders out. All right, let's work our way down. Let's work those ankles and the feet. So what I want you to do today excuse me, is we're going to do a supination and a pronation. So I need you to open up your legs just a little bit. All right, so make sure you're comfortable on your sit bones. Now, there's two ways to be in position. You can lean back like this if you want, or if you want to sit straight spine with your hands beside your hips. So what we're going to do, let me show you quickly, is we're going to roll them in. If you want, you can touch your toes together, and then you're going to roll them out. Now, that's pronation, supination. This is all about the ankle, the foot. But the action comes from the hip. All right, so when you move your legs in, try to roll the hole in. I want you to be able to feel a little bit into the hip. It shouldn't hurt, but feel the hip. Make sure the knees don't torque in and out. Everything moves together. It's a very gentle movement. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Inhale, roll in. Inhale. 
inhale in. And relax, bring them to straight, neutral position. Now let's play piano with the toes and round the ankles. You can go a little faster, really move those toes, articulate them. Get some movement into those little toes, really wiggle them around, all right? From here, we're gonna do one more stretch. This is called our seated fish pose. Now this particular stretch here is specifically for the chest, the front of the deltoid of the shoulder as well. This is gonna help you a little bit with your posture as well. So hands along the side of the hips, sitting nice and tall, make sure that your neck is long and you're looking forward if your eyes are open. Take your breath. Exhale, shoulders up, bring them back, slide them down, bring the shoulder blades together, get that chest out, breathe. Now bring the shoulder blades together as tight as comfortable, really focusing on releasing, opening up the pectorals, the rib cage, heart center. Seated fish pose, one more breath. On the next exhale, bring the shoulders up, forward, down, all right. Counter pose, hands on the lap, preparing for caterpillar, take your breath. On the exhale, I want you just to bow your head round forward, just round your back a little. You can put your forearms, if you can, or you can put your hands on the floor. So just counter posing, resting the chest, releasing your spine. This is called the caterpillar. For one more breath. On the exhale, come up nice and slow. All right, let's get into our table. So onto your hands and knees. If you need extra padding, I always supply little pads like this for my students, but you can use a little thin um, blanket or a little thin towel. Now, this is our table. Checking your alignment, ankle to knee, knee to hip, knees are hip distance apart, elbow, shoulders, wrists lined up. Head is level with your spine. Let's do some cat and cow, inhale up. Head up, sacrum up, C scoop spine. Exhale, arch the back, chin to chest, belly button to spine. Try to relax your thighs, keep going up. Cat and cow. This is lengthening the spine. This is really good. Let's do one more time. All the way up, releasing the lower back. This is a wonderful stretch for your upper back and lower back. And like I said, lengthening that spine, keeping it nice and flexible. Come back to table. All right, from here, let's get into our downward dog. Curl the toes, take your breath on the exhale, up. Move those feet back a little bit. <clears throat> Tail is up high, head is hanging down. Shoulders relaxed, breathe. Downward dog, let's walk the dog. Inhale, bend the right knee, exhale, switch. This is a nice calf stretch. Your body will rock slightly, walking the dog. And let's get up to mountain from here. Walk yourself up. Come up nice and slow. Reverse the blood flow. All right. Mountain. Roll the shoulders out. First of all, shake it all up. Shake those legs out. Mountain Tatazana. Feet are hip distance apart. Nice and anchored to the floor. Let's take a few breaths into our nice, strong mountain. Do that little check, let's go through your body looking for tension, release. Wiggle the toes, check your knees, your thighs. If they're tight, just let them go. Your belly, everything, your buttocks, your shoulders, let it go, breathe. Coming to the front of the mat, take a breath. I'll do it this way, but come to the front of your mat. Exhale, step back, right leg, big step back. Take a breath. On the exhale, inhale, arms up, shoulder height. Exhale, I want you to turn your heels to the right, five star. Inhale, right arm up, left arm along the left leg. You can do this with your hand on your hip if you'd like. Just a nice V lateral stretch. One more breath. Exhale, come up, use your core muscles to help. Let's go all the way, inhaling up, left arm up, right hand along the right side of the body. Nice and straight and lined up. Breathe. Lengthening the side of the body, working on the abdominals as well, the back muscles. Exhale, back up to five star. Relax those shoulders. One more breath. 
Exhale, turn your feet to the right, windmill, left arm down, step forward, mountain, roll the shoulders out. Perfect, all right. From here, let's get ourselves into our child's pose, come down slowly, open up the knees a little wider if you have to. Take your breath and on the exhale, child's pose. Now, child's pose, make sure that your head and your neck are supported, you can rest them on your stacked fist. Rest them on your block, your stacked hands, or on the floor. Make sure your head and your neck are all supported because this is a resting pose, a neutral place, and also a wonderful full body stretch. All right. Child's Pose Balasana. Now's the time to thank yourself for being here right now in this moment, being on your mat, taking this time just to turn all the noises off, a little time for yourself, a little quiet time. Sometimes it's very important and it's really hard to find that. So even if it's just for 30 minutes, even if it's just once a week, it's a very special time. You just turn everything off. No cares, no worries, no thoughts, weightless, no anxieties. One more breath. On the next exhale, come up nice and slow. I want you to get yourself onto your back. Come down nice and slow, right onto your back. Keep your knees bent, back is nice and grounded, shoulders are relaxed. Let's give ourselves a big hug. On the exhale, come up, big hug. And rock from side to side. Just rock, the shoulders are relaxed, the breath is flowing, you're feeling so comfortable right now. Just rock. And breathe and let's really work on releasing the spine, giving yourselves a lovely back massage. Little circles to the left, focusing on the lower back just a little bit more. Little circles to the right. Knees to center, soles of the feet onto the floor. I want you to straighten your legs one at a time. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling, let them fall shoulder height. And I want you to stretch your body out, lengthen your body. Now you can reposition your shoulders if this bothers your shoulders, just move your arms somewhere else. But just I want you to feel nice and heavy, and calm and relaxed. Let your body sink into the ground. Fingertips to the tips of your toes. It's important for relaxation to have a tension-free body and a tension-free mind. All that energy is flowing, energy which is our life force. On the next exhale, bring your hands to the side of your body, palms facing the ceiling. Hands are open to receive guidance from your higher self. And let's prepare for our closing savasana, meditation, relaxation, reflection time. However you choose to bring this into your practice today. Resting comfortably in your corpse pose. Now at this point, if you need, you can, or if you want, you can bend your knees, you can lay on your side if you'd like. Find a place, a nice comfy place on your mat so that you can just relax and rest. You can go back to your normal breathing if you'd like at this point or keep your yoga breath going a little bit longer. Let your mind, your body, and your soul absorb the vibrations of the bells. Bringing your own energies to its appropriate frequency. Slowly bring yourself back into your space, back into the room. Bring life back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, very, very slowly, bring yourself back up to our cross-legged Sukhasana position or any seated position at this point that feels good for you. Take your time. I know it's hard, hard to get off the floor sometimes. Comfortable on your sit bones. Back is nice and straight. Let's bring our hands together. Let's rub them vigorously to activate our hand chakra. Hands onto your heart center, close your eyes. Let's take a nice long smooth breath to tune in, inhale. Om Shanti 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 Satna Shanti Shanti Peace Peace May love and light be with you always. Namaste.
Oh, wonderful. All done. That was lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. You know, even 30 minute little yoga class sometimes is all you really need. Just get a few stretches in once in a while, you know, slow it down, connect with your breath. You know, you don't have to go crazy and do all kinds of fancy things. Sometimes this is just the right thing at the right time. So thank you again for joining me. Um, have a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. It's a little gray out there, but it's always sunny in our minds, right? So we'll see you soon and enjoy yourself. And like I said, repeat these classes over and over if you'd like. I got a whole bunch of them already um, banked in the, the YouTube, my channel. So uh, enjoy yourself and uh, be kind to everyone else around you. Bye.